What is going on guys, Gabsido here, bringing you a League of Legends commentary once again. And today I'm playing Janna, uh, AP mid, as suggested by some dude on um, a video for the You Choose I Play series where I play uh, champions, lanes, and uh, play styles that you suggest. So uh, this is completely based on your uh, what, what you uh, suggest. And uh, someone suggested Janamid, so I decided to give it a go. In the first game I tried it, I actually got a really good gameplay. And I was recording, but I tried to look at the file and it didn't work. Something was broken uh, with the file. Uh, and it wasn't watchable. Uh, it was it sure wasn't uploadable to YouTube. Here I'm gonna get the first blood on Lee Sin here. A little bit lucky there. But unfortunately I couldn't uh, use that gameplay because the file was broken for some reason. And this is my first commentary with the new um, uh, map design or the new map. And I generally don't like changes at all. Um, but uh, this, I think, I think this is pretty good. They're going in the wrong direction. I kind of, it looks pretty neat. It looks pretty colorful and happy. Except bot lane, that's pretty dull, but top lane looks great, you know, but it, I kind of like the idea that they have like different, you know, like the barren pit is a bit, um, or the upper side of the map is a bit uh, more joyful and um, greener with uh, more, uh, you know, growing things like pl plants and trees and grass, whatever. And the the bottom part of the map is a little bit more mysterious and dark so uh, they explained that when they they revealed the map as well uh, a couple of months ago I think but I think it's pretty cool I don't get the new you get a, sh a shield from your turret I don't get that um, I don't know I don't know how long it lasts if it's a good shield or Whatever, but I li I like the new turrets. Uh, I like when you attack them that they kind of slowly go down in HP instead of. And you can see them breaking apart. Like if if you get them down to half HP, um, they will slowly start to break down, and you will see the pieces fall off like rocks from the sides and stuff. That's pretty cool. And. Uh, I have two kills right now against this Lee Sin, and I gotta say, Janna AP mid is pretty strong. I get a good start, but then something happens. Lee Sin just makes a cheeky play right there, and he gets me. Unfortunately, I couldn't pick him up with the ignite, but shit happens, right? So Warwick is gonna chase down Lee Sin, and he's gonna kill him. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Um. So actually, actually, I should be going to bed right now at this moment. Uh, the clock is quite a lot and I gotta get up early tomorrow for school. But I'm doing this for you guys, so feel special. Just fucking thank me for this. I do this for you. Um, yeah, I thought I needed a video, so uh, you know, I gotta... I gotta try my best I haven't been the most active youtuber lately but I'm gonna try to make more videos guys it's hard it's it's difficult uh, but uh, Warwick is gonna kill Lee Sin right here and so that's pretty nice I guess that taught him a lesson to buy the fucking boots next time buy boots Lee Sin buy boots uh, I'm gonna be, be pushing mid and uh, no I'm not uh, Janna is actually really good for wave control I guess you can push up waves you can defend turrets with your E and shield them and you know, it's just really good for controlling the lane you you decide what happens where the minions are you know the wave can clear a whole uh, or the wave, what am I talking about? The wind. The fucking wind that she does with her Q can clear a whole wave. And I max my Q this game. Look at this cheek ex escape right here. Uh, I max my wind uh, this game. I think that's the way to go. If you want, it, it helps you farm. Uh, it's a little bit 
hard. You could max your W to get a guaranteed damage hit uh, because that's not a skill shot. It's easier to just click them with a W and do some damage. It does some pretty good damage as well. But I max my W second and I use my um, Whirlwind for uh, my uh, main damage tool here uh, because it also clears waves. So that's really good. And your E is really, really strong. Uh, the AD it gives, it's just crazy. I think I'm gonna be like, I give 110 AD or something when at the end of this game, or even more. I don't know. But when you have, I, th you know, it stacks. It gives, it gives more AD to the person that you shield. Uh, uh, cons like, uh, it gives you the person that you shield more AD based on how much AP you have right and uh, that is pretty OP um, if you put that on the AD carry it's not just gonna it's not only gonna shield the guy but it's gonna give him a lot of extra AD uh, it's just insane so I'm gonna go top haven't gotten any kills in a while just died a couple of times but you know Jana is, Jana is not the, the best kill secure uh, so to speak I did get more kills the other games that I played with her uh, but uh, unfortunately those games were or at least one game was lost because of the fucking recording program I don't know what happened the recording software that I use I'm gonna skip ahead a bit in the game because it gets really boring so we're just gonna push down this is a little bit more exciting to watch uh, we're gonna push down at mid and we're gonna basically ace them almost and go for the turret right here so as you can see I bought the Lich Bane because I feel you don't have that much burst or you do have burst I mean you don't have that much consistent damage you can't your Q have some I don't know how the cooldown is but you have your Q then you have your W then your E it helps you auto attack for more damage but it's not much if you don't buy armor penetration and AD in general. Um, it's a decent amount and it's worth using. Um, but it's not that much if you're not playing AD. So Lich Bane could be really good for those um, in between attacks for more damage. Um, and about the mana. Uh, Janna uses up a lot of mana so you could get a Rod of Ages as well. I think all of her abilities cost over 100 mana uh, at full, at, you know, when you max them. The whir whirlwind, the wind is like 110, I think the ulti is 150. And by the way, the ulti is just so overpowered, it's, it's insane. I'm gonna be healing like 600, I think, it lasts for 3 seconds and it heals everyone around you. If you didn't know, you probably know, unless you're a fucking noob. I'm just kidding. It's okay to be a noob. Sometimes it's okay. You don't have to feel bad. Uh, but uh, it heals for three seconds, and it lasts. Uh, yeah, it lasts for three seconds, and every second uh, at the end of this game. That's my uh, ulti, by the way. I, you can use it. Uh, it's pretty good for, you know, controlling the enemy team. Like, you could just start off the team fight by using it, just to get a lot of extra health to help the team. Or you could use it uh, in a clever way to misplace the enemy and use, use it for the CC basically. Um, but just for the heal, it gives, at the end of this game, I think I give 600 health each second for 3 seconds. And that's uh, 1,800. That's a lot of uh, heal for uh, the whole team. So you might want to get a Morello Nomicon uh, if you're playing in the other team. Uh, because that reduces the healing and although I think it only reduces the healing if if you attack an enemy with abilities and they have less than 40% HP I think that's the case but we're gonna push down for the inhibitor here um, and by the way I don't really understand how this new Baron Dragon inhibitor system works um, I think the inhibitors might have stayed the same, but I don't get it. Is dragon better than Baron now, or how is it? 
they're taking battery right now and apparently it gives instead of giving you a buff it might give you a buff as well I don't know but it helps the minions around you I'm, I, I'm gonna get a kill right there finally haven't gotten a kill in a while well I do have four kills I thought I had three but uh, that's pretty nice you you gonna get a lot of assists with Jan I mean she is uh, in the core a support champion look at that health that's just great uh, she is in the core a support champion and y you don't you're not gonna get that many kills uh, if the if your teammates are good at stealing the kills uh, you're gonna do some good damage I'm not saying AP Jan is bad it's really good for the team but it's not like a super carry 30 and 0 champion um, it's gonna help out the team a lot uh, basically so I was talking about Baron and Dragon yeah the the Baron gives the minions around the Baron holder um, more health and more damage I think the, the minions become stronger basically it's like it's good for pushing and ending the game I guess so they I think that's good because it seems like Riot want to make the games shorter because um, instead of using the Baron to like bait a team fight or something and uh, that might not even result in the end of the game it's better for you know pushing down the lane getting an inhibitor and might n probably even ending the game so the games aren't like too long and uh, we're gonna get them uh, right here. We're gonna find them in our own jungle, and Warwick is gonna get a kill. Now we're gonna push down the inhibitor, and uh, that guy's gonna get killed. Jinx is not gonna get killed because I'm gonna save her with my heal, and unfortunately, I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. I don't know what happens here. Actually, they managed to turn around this for some reason. I thought we had it, had this. But they managed to turn it around and now it's a 3v2. I, I have no idea how that happened. But I'm going to skip ahead once again in the, the, the gameplay. And Vladimir is going to get caught right there. But I'm going to use a beautiful ult. And here comes Big Lee Sin. Yeah, that's one of the benefits of Baron as well. The killer of the Baron. Uh, the guy that kills the Baron. Get, becomes fucking huge. I don't know. I was surprised when I saw that. But I guess he gets the buff. And uh, oh, I'm gonna get a kill there. Surprising stuff. Um, actually, we've, we've got a yes of this game. That's really good with Janna because of the wind. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah. Uh, no, I can't remember. Yeah, the the killer of the Baron gets a buff, and then the rest of the team gets this uh, minion thing. Oops, messed up my mic there. Sorry. You might have not even heard that, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna chase down the big lease in here. Um, but apparently, the new dragon doesn't give any gold. I don't understand. Doesn't it give any gold? Like, it, it gives a stacking buff. Is it like? Is it completely useless unless you get five stacks? I don't really understand. If you want to explain this to me, you could go ahead. I'm too lazy to do a Google search and look it up, but as far like what I've understood from it uh, is that it's, it's just kind of useless if it's that way so it can't be that way but after five dragons you start getting benefits from it uh, the first dragon you I, I guess it's I don't know if it's this way but this is uh, what I thought uh, from the start that you when you take one dragon nothing happens then you take two nothing happens three nothing happens four nothing happens and then the fifth baron you get a buff um, and I guess also that's in, a, in an attempt to end the game faster you know but does I, I I don't understand doesn't it give you any goal during the game doesn't it give you any because it, I've heard it's a stacking buff it stacks up to five uh, stacks and then you get the benefits or do you get benefits for every stack like you might get five extra AD for killing it once 10 for twice and so on you get the point and that's gonna be the victory thank you for watching don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe peace